The course I'm course coordinator for is Applied Statistics. The course is for anyone who wants to get a basic statistics sort of start off. So you might have done no statistics before and this is your first course. It might be that you're wanting to get a bit of um, a background having done it previously and wanting to come back to it. So in terms of the sorts of people that might do it, it could be health professionals, you could be a researcher that's not clinical, so maybe you work in health services research, but you're not a clinician yourself. Um, so it'll help you do the statistics yourself, but also will highlight to when you need to then go towards an expert for perhaps more complicated projects. So the reason to come to Aberdeen for this course would be that it's taught by some very experienced statisticians. Um, we've been teaching the content and, and other content for a number of years. We've got different experiences. We come from different disciplines, work in different disciplines, so we can frame the examples suited to you. So if you're struggling to understand a particular concept, we'll be able to reframe it in a way that you would understand for your field, using examples from your field. The advantage of Aberdeen also is the online platform is well established. Um, we've got good software and we can do, the, we use this different tools so you can do um, things very remotely. You don't have to be here. It is entirely online so there is no requirement for any sort of face-to-face -face contact although we do um, use virtual classrooms so we do get you to interact that way but it's not an essential component. We start from what is a variable right up to building into different relationships between a combination of variables that allows you to answer a different research question. To help your career, it will be handy because if you are doing your own research, then you might need to do a bit of statistics yourself. So this course will enable you to be able to do that. You'll have learned the basic tools to actually go away, collect some data, do the initial bits of analysis, maybe answer some of the questions. You'll be able to understand other people's research. So if you're reading literature, you can understand what they've done, have they done it correctly, perhaps they shouldn't have done it like that, how to improve, so if you want to do something very similar, you want to make a better study, you can think, well actually, that wasn't the best way of doing it, but having learnt stuff on this course, you then know which way to do it instead. It would potentially help as you're progressing up the research sort of ladder, if you wanted to become someone who's going to be in charge of research projects, not just working on them, then some statistical knowledge will really be helpful there because it will help you understand what needs to go into the application to get the funding for a starter, how it works, help the researchers themselves that you've sort of gone up a level. So it's extremely useful going forwards. So the Applied Statistics course is, is run entirely online. The course is split into weekly themes and within that theme you'd get these podcasts. You might have some multiple choice questions to do which aren't assessed but they're to help you learn and you can do them as many times as you like. You might have some activities around actually undertaking the statistics, going, using some data that we provide, asking some questions, playing around with it yourself, understanding the software that we use, which you would get access to, and being able to actually think about, here's some data, what's my question, what's the answer? We sometimes have discussion boards where we'll ask you to discuss amongst yourselves with the different students. Or we might have a live session where you come in as like a virtual classroom. We've got activities associated with that. So you'll get to interact with us directly, face to face, virtually, but face to face. And you also you can use that facility to interact with other students as well at any time. So with the Applied Statistics course, within a, one of the weekly themes, we might expect you to um, watch up to about an hour of podcast material, which we've broken down into smaller chunks. And then the associated activities that go with that material might you take you up to maybe another two hours work. So we're looking at around three hours of effort or engagement with the online material per week. Over the course of the whole time, you put in maybe some additional self-study time for the assessment, sort of different investigations. You're probably looking at sort of 100, 150 hours over the whole course.